What is going on survivors? We are back for another mod review. Today's mod review is going to be the Swim Clear Scuba Mask. This is kind of cool. It's basically the scuba mask, but a lot more useful and not nearly as annoying. So let's go out into the water here and we can take a look at what the normal scuba mask is compared to what we'll be dealing with. So this is underwater without any change in brightness no mask no nothing just this is what it looks like and obviously it's really hard to far to see out it, the color is definitely distorted when you're down here it's really hard to see anything way out in front of you like i can see that megalodon out there that's pretty much it uh which makes it a little bit difficult when you're in the deeper water because some of the predators have a larger aggro range and you won't see them outside of that range even coming after you it can be a little difficult or if you're trying to find certain sea tames so let's throw, so what we have is the regular scuba mask. We can put that guy on. And as we can see, the distance has increased a little bit. Um, my peripheral vision is totally screwed. And the color is a little bit better with this. So, I mean, obviously there's perks to this, being able to see further out and having it be a little bit more detailed and brighten up and a little bit more color does make it really useful. But the lack of peripheral, that, that tiny edge that you wouldn't think would be a huge deal is actually a huge, huge deal. It, it drives me and probably most of the art community a little bit crazy using these things. Um, but there is now a solution. So the solution is the swim clear mask. So I'm gonna pop this guy on and as we can see, I have no peripheral vision issues. I can see even farther out, the color and brightness is increased like this. This is pretty good, right? pretty useful the idea of being able to see this far out is incredible and again my vision's not obscured none of it is obscured totally useful and a lot of the stuff that renders in like i can definitely like if we're just looking at these patterns of rocks and megalodons and if i switch back like there's not a whole lot of color to them not a whole lot of color to the megalodon even some of those rocks further out are, are barely even visible really and we toggle back to this guy it's a significant difference between the two. This is absolutely crazy. I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, a small mod, obviously. So this isn't going to be a really long review. It's kind of a cut and dry about what this thing does. Uh, but let's get back on the shore here. We'll talk about crafting it and other configurations because this does have a customizable I and I where you can change exactly how this goggle functions about with color. And I should probably uh oh, get away, get away. Oh, swim for your life. Oh, I'm not swimming fast. Let's uh, get out of here before we get eaten by sharks. That would be bad. All right. Shark safe now. Mark safe from shark attack this time. What we have is, so the swim clear, you actually will make it on your inventory instead of actually on a fabricator. And it costs the same thing that a regular scuba mask does. So it, once again, you won't have to crap, craft it on a fabricator, but it, you will need the same things that you would need to craft the scuba mask. Uh, in our Ingrams, I believe it's called swim uh, be under swim clear as well so we unlock it at level 81 and like i said you craft it on your person and it does require the scuba mask ingram to be unlocked as far as that goes i mean there are some other things to note in the i and i's you'll be able to change like like the default of like how far you'll be able to see out with it uh, how bright the colors are when you're underneath and you can actually change like the blue tint that you see underwater. You'll be able to, to toggle that a little bit. So if you want it to be a bit more real color instead of that underwater blue tint to it, you can change that as well. Uh, and the other thing that you'll get when you craft it is this cool little tech helmet skin. So if we get a tech helmet in here, uh, let's search for if I could spell helmet. Boop. All right. So what we do is we throw this skin over here if you're over here. There we go. So now you have the tech helmet on top of it as well. So tech helmet did the same thing when you had it underwater. It did, still did distort things a little bit. And what we can do is go back underwater and check this out. So this is no mask, obviously. We don't have a mask on. And then what I'll do is get another tech helmet. We'll compare the two. Um, so let's grab the normal tech helmet first. And as we can see, view's still not that great. Peripheral's a little screwed up. Um, it's a little bit better than not having it, but not by a whole lot. Um, and then we'll go back to this. So you still end up with a little bit of peripheral vision gone, not very much, uh, but the, it is definitely easier to see down here. So it applies basically the same filters to the tech helmet, which is pretty neat, especially when you get up to the tech tier and you're not using the scuba goggles anymore. Um, this is your option. So you'll be able to throw this on top of a tech helmet and uh, good to go. And that's a vanilla tech helmet. So it's not anything special. So you don't need any other mods for this one to work. And like I said, you'll have a fully customizable I and I with it as well. 
But that, ladies and gents, is it. Very simple mod, very cool mod though. Kind of one of those quality of life that I think is super important. If you like making underwater bases, if you spend your time underwater a lot, if you're kind of that kind of that person that likes the sea life in Ark, I would highly recommend this mod. It's super easy, super small, plays nice with everything. And again, it does have some configurable INIs as well. We'll have a link to the workshop in the description of the video so you can go out and check that. And also all the INIs that we discussed at your leisure. Um, I believe you can also you can actually you be able to change the uh, when you unlock it as well. So if it's something you want to unlock earlier on, you can definitely make that as well. But that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out, and I will see you all next time.